move out of their comfort zone, specifically teachers or staff or anyone involved in education. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're falling behind. There's a few reasons. Uh, one is that STEM really incorporates uh, the four C's, which is cooperation, creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking. And it's just kind of inherent in the engineering design cycle and all of the projects that they do. But also, I think STEM gives kids really practical skills that they'll be able to apply no matter what they go into. Um, and even practical to their everyday life. STEAM education is something that is not new, but what is new is the technology that's going by really rapidly, the development, and who these students are. The students of today are very different from students of 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So STEAM education, the integration of everything, will really help to prepare them for college and future successes. So when you add that A, you make STEAM, oh, it comes alive in the classroom. It's just like, you know, well, if you're into music, you know, especially like what I used to do in DJing, you know, why do beats per minute uh, matter? How does chord structure and, 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 and music structure, why does that really matter mathematically? And uh, that just makes it even more an exciting experience. And that creativity really pops up. And then you encourage people to actually share their creativity with others, to really impact and be a, a force uh, of good in, in the world. So I think it's very important. Kids get a chance to see this uh, up close and personal. They broaden their views in terms of uh, what, what kinds of jobs or settings that they might be interested in working in. We're not afraid to let students lead the way on their own learning. Because if they're seeing a problem or an opportunity, it behooves us as adults to support that. So it's a little different thinking here. <laughs>